So what kind of specimen is this, first of all? Yeah, this is nail. And it's not normal nail plate. Normal nail plate's nice and thick. And this is totally distorted um, and thickened. And probably a lot of this is subungual debris. And to me, it's actually hard sometimes to tell in these very distorted, either in onychodystrophy or onychomycosis, to tell actually what's nail plate versus what's subungual um, nail debris or parakeratosis and, and hyperkeratosis from underneath the nail. It all kind of mingles, um, mingles together. So um, this is uh, just an example of onychomycosis. And usually we need the PAS to see this, but in this case, you actually don't. You can see the little holes where the cross section of fungal hyphae are. And then you can see here these elongated hyphae spaces. So even without PAS, you can tell that this is onychomycosis. And I think it's really clear up here. Look at that. So you can see the hyphae right there. Um, and that's a really nice example of onychomycosis hyphae in the nail plate. I also personally, if you guys, uh, as derm residents, if you send me an a, a area that's a clipping, but most of it's just subungual debris or the nail, the skin right adjacent to the, the nail fold, and I see dermatophyte fungal hyphae growing in it, to me, that's good enough for onychomycosis. So I don't feel like I have to see the hyphae directly in nail plate. If I see them in any bit of the corneal layer right around the nail, to me, I think that that's, that is good enough for onychomycosis in my book, all right? And then the other reason that I wanted to show you this is because those of you, um, that, well, all of you know me, I guess. So, but you know that I really have this penchant for nail polish, not wearing it myself, but I love seeing it on uh, clippings. And uh, this is what nail polish looks like. And it's actually a little bit better to see uh, at, the, at the microscope in person. It doesn't scan very well because it's got this 3D refractal nature to it. And it's, um, it's got little tiny uh, globules of, of black and kind of silvery gold and different colors. And you, you can't actually usually see the color. It always looks like different um, kind of black or slightly metallic um, particles. And I always like to guess the color, like is this candy apple red or is this mid Midsummer Night's Dream or Vivid Nightshade or something. And if, you know, Derm Path doesn't work out for me in the long run, I think I'm going to go and apply to one of the makeup companies and, and offer to name their nail polishes for them, because I think I'd be pretty good at it. So, um, and some of you as residents have said that I would. See, it's got kind of this gold color to it. I think it's because there's tiny, tiny little um, metal fragments that go into it. But honestly, I don't know how they make nail polish. And, and if you're watching this video on YouTube and you do know, please post it in the comments down below. Thank you. All right. So, onychomycosis, where they got their nails nice and, and, and done. Uh, before coming to get the clipping. So I like that. I thought that was a, a really cool uh, fun case.